All right, guys, today we got a 2011 Chevy 3500 HD with a 6.6 .6 liter in it. It's a, it's a no crank, no start. I'm not a diesel guy, but we're gonna figure it out. Let's get into it. All right, let's verify the concern here. Let's go ahead and, so we got uh, dash lights, everything's lighting up. Our, I don't know if that's normal or not, to be honest with you. Uh, that, obviously we've got zero oil pressure. Obviously where temperature is low. Okay, uh, the amp gauge or the that volt gauge, I'm sorry, is moving up, but not real far. Sitting over here about, I don't know what that would be. So, but not 14, oh yeah. Okay. Um, Definitely hear it clicking, almost a little click, and then I, one time I felt like I heard a start or try a little bit. We could just have a, uh, a battery issue. We could have a um, connection issue, starter. You know, let's go ahead. I brought some stuff out to get us going anyway. I don't know if it's gonna, might need more than what we got. Let's see. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna need First thing I want to do is I'm going to just see if the battery, what it's got in it first. All right, 12.1, let's see if we can't put that where you guys can see it. 12.1, let me hold the camera. I'm going to have the camera in, go inside and try to start it. And we're going to make sure that voltage stays steady. Or, I mean, it's going to go down, but I'm sure it doesn't drop to like, you know, some crazy low number. Okay, all right. Hey, that would be normal. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. Um, they did say, the client did say that they tried to, I think they said they tried to jump start it and it didn't work. And I mean, that should be enough to, to at least try to spin it over. Um, okay, so we're okay there. I brought out. I brought out the power probe hook. I have not used this thing. I cannot tell you last time I used this thing. I always kind of thought it was bulky and difficult. The um, reason I brought it out today is because I'm actually giving a class at STX in a couple of days about electrical test tools and what you can use in place of other things. And this is one of the things in the class, so I figured I'd bring it out. I had to fix the Somebody had broke the ground on it, so I had to fix the ground connector. So I think we're all right there. Um, one thing I did read, and I didn't even know this thing had the option to do this, was I read in the, uh, while I'm going over the class, that this thing will do a, um, will latch. So the power switch, see it says moment. If we move it over here, it will actually latch, which means that if I hit power, it will stay on power. And I'm assuming if I hit ground, it'll stay on ground at the tip. So that could come in handy. So, um, but before we get over into that, comment down below, guys, if you guys have the hook there, power probe hook, and you use it, let me know what you think of it. So I'm going to take, and the reason I brought it is I like to have, I want to have my lead go to the battery. So it's going to go through here to the battery. So it's kind of like a jumper lead for me. So I'm gonna go right to ground here and let's check and be sure that we get, and technically if I hold it here, this thing should have power on it. There we go. So we've got power at the tip. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of that. All right, now so the reason I did that is just so I wanna check and make sure I've got you know, when I'm doing my voltage drop, I got straight to the battery on that. So, and that's where it's going to help if I can latch the power in if it ends up being something under here. All right, so I don't know if I need to bring you guys under here. I got to find the starter first. I don't know where it's at, if it's on. I'm not a diesel guy. All right. Oil filter on this side. I guess I should have looked this up before I got underneath the car. Holy <sighs> oh, crap. 
crud, is that it right there? That is it. That doesn't look like a very big starter. Wow, okay, gear reduction. Gotta be some kind of gear reduction. Seriously, Tank? All right, now I got my starter. I don't know if I can get to it easy, maybe. All right, well. Tank is eating the camera. We might have to get the cameraman under here so you can get a view, unless he can go through this fender well right here and look right through here. I don't know if you can see through there or not. I can't sit there and hold that back while I'm working, so. Where I'm going to be is right here. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's the, I'm just feeling it. I can't see it, guys, but that's the exciter wire um, for the solenoid, and then that's gonna be our battery coming from the battery cable coming in. Again, I'm not looking at this. I'm just feeling with my hand. Yep. And then I'll use the starter case as the ground. I'll check that. All right, so let me get my meter, get it where I can see it, and get it where it'll reach. I kind of got the wrong leads here. I brought some short leads. That was not smart of me. Uh, yeah, we're 100% going to need somebody to start. Tell you what, guys, we're going we're gonna to recalibrate it a little bit here because we're going to need somebody to start this thing. And I'm going to see if I can't get some longer leads for this meter because otherwise it's going to be difficult to see. So give us a second. We'll be right back. I got my least favorite leads in the world. I actually gave them away to one of my guys. They're super long. I like that. But they get tangled up so easy. Look at them. They get tangled up so easy. Uh, I need some long leads that... Or just regular but these will work for now all right what i'd really like to have and if you guys know of any i like some long leads that have a little extra um, banana plug on them so you can do load testing right at the meter if you guys know of any let me know all right look at this this thing's So we're gonna go right back to where we were. I'm gonna go here. Let's just double check, make sure. I don't wanna be spending. Why is that not picking up good there? All right, we're good. Okay. So, get my light. Figure out where I'm at here. Where am I at? There I am. Okay. So I'm going to go first to the little exciter wire. Let's see. Got some kind of, looks like maybe corn or oil. All right, let's see what we got here. Watch your knee. All right, here we go. Go ahead and try to crank it. Hold it in the crank position. All right, we got 10 point, 10, 11 volts. 11 volts. All right, let off. So we got 11 volts at our exciter wire. Now let's go to the battery cable going to it. Oh, sorry. All right, let's see here. Battery cable. Battery cable. Go ahead and try to crank it. Now, hold on, hold on. Now, if we look at the meter right now, guys, I want you to be, I want you to look down here at the meter. So right now we're showing 11.9 volts. Don't think that that's good. We're not trying to crank it right now. We need to do a voltage drop. We need to put a load on this. So we're going to, here, we're going to put it like that. We're going to now try to crank it while I'm holding it here. So go ahead and try to start it. All right, just dropped a little tiny bit from 11.9 something to 11.6. All right. So not much there as far as a voltage drop goes i don't think we need to go a lot of times i might go to the battery and uh you know do a voltage drop test from battery positive down which is why i was saying i like the thing that this thing latches um into power but i don't think we need to do that we're not really dropping any voltage here so i think we're fine i can definitely hear the starter clicking pretty hard so next thing i want to do is just to double check it i want to make sure 
that our ground is good. So now I'm gonna just go straight to the battery, to the starter casing. I got my ground here. I'm gonna go to the starter case. So, I mean, maybe. Here, all right. So we should have zero volts. Where are you at? I'm right here at the. Can you see my hand? Yeah. Can you see where I'm plugged, pushed in right here? No, it's okay. All right, I'm just touching the, the case of the starter. Yeah. So now let's go ahead. We got pretty much zero. Go ahead and try to crank it. It should stay real close to that. Oh, went to zero. No, no. Yeah, all right. So we got no voltage drop on the ground side either. All right, so we've got everything to the starter that we need. And now we think we got a slam dunk here. Got a bad starter. Um, so maybe we do. That thing's clicking pretty hard. Um, I think the starter is just bad. It could be that the motor's locked up. We're gonna definitely turn the motor, but I'm gonna do the old school tappy tappy test. So, we're going to see if we can't get the motor to spin because I don't really want to have to spin this motor by hand if I don't have to. Where are they tapping? Just because I'm lazy. And guys, just uh, this is a gear reduction starter, I'm sure. I don't really think you're supposed to tap on these. Um, so, we're just going to be real careful here and just see if it'll even do anything. It probably won't do anything. Go ahead and hold it in the crank position. Okay, so nothing. We might we didn't get lucky there. Sometimes you get lucky, you tap on it, and it'll start up. Sometimes you tap on it, it'll start up, and it'll never shut off again, never stop working again. But still got a bad starter. All right, so I want to verify this motor spins over because I don't want to put a starter on this thing and then click and it does the same exact thing. So let me go ahead and... Uh, no idea. Of course, we've got a huge shield under there. How hard is this going to be to get to? Yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, we got a real fun bolt down there. I'm sure you diesel guys know exactly what I'm looking at. I don't know if you can see down there. Uh, I don't know if that's... One, two, three, four, five, six... Is that a 12 point? Maybe that's just a 12 point socket. Um, ugh, ugh. All right, we got all kind of brackets on the fan so you can't spin it. We ain't gonna get much room in there. All right, let me go see if I can't find a socket for this bad boy. <clears throat> and, uh, Even though we know it's probably stuff. Just I mean, it's probably the starter, but probably sucks yeah. because probably could mean you put a starter on it and spend however long. I don't know how long that starter's gonna take to put on. I have no idea what that's gonna take to do. And you get a starter on it, you get in there, go click. And then you got, not only do you got money in the starter, but you got egg on your face. And now you got to go back to, to the client and say, whoops, uh, it wasn't actually a starter. Your motor's locked up. That's quite a bit of difference. So let me go see if I can't find a socket and I'll be right back. So I went inside the shop and just asked the guys in there if anybody knew what size the crank bolt was on this thing. They all laughed at me because we don't do diesels over at this shop. Kingsland store does. I don't know how this truck ended up over here, but it is what it is. Uh, and then one of my uh, courtesy uh client care people <laughs> he googled it and he's like hey it's 36 millimeter i'm like okay it's 36 millimeter so shout out to skyler for the 36 millimeter save me from putting 15 sockets down here all right let's see if it'll spin oh my oh yeah yep it spins all right So, that was a, I ain't saying that's an easy one. That's usually when things go south. All right, guys. I think we got, I think we've proven this one out. We got, I mean, pretty straightforward. We've got the, uh, no, no voltage drop on the positive side. No voltage drop on the ground side. We got good exciter wire, you know, no voltage drop there. We don't need to get deep into this thing, you know, chasing stuff, quick and easy. You hear the starter clicking. Uh, you know, I know I preach about going to wiring diagrams, figure it out, get a game plan, 
but in this case, you can hear the starter clicking pretty hard. So just go straight to that. I mean, why chase a bunch of stuff down in the fuse box and relays and all that? Just go straight to the starter. Now, if you're missing something there, okay, now we got to back up. You know, we spent a couple of minutes doing that, but you saw this thing took, I don't know how long it took, five, 10 minutes to, to prove this thing out, um, even with, with cranking this thing over. So um, quick, easy diagnosis. We'll get a starter put on this thing. I thought I saw some fluid leaking down there, so we'll get that looked at. We might have to take that over to the Kingsland store to let them fix that, but we'll, uh, we'll at least get this thing started so we can get it over there and, and let them look, at it, look it over and make sure we don't miss anything on it. So anyway, hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, um, hit that bell notification, and we'll see you in the next one.